So, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about my painting for realism. So the subject is my father and my son. And um, my father, I took that picture when my father was here last, and the last time he was here was in October. He hasn't seen me since then or come out to see me because he's been really sick. And um, that's one of my favorite pictures. Um, my dad doesn't like it because he's squinting and um, he says he feels like he looks like a troll. But if I'm being honest, I just love the look on Robbie's face and um, the look on my dad's face. And uh, that trip that my dad was here, um, Robbie didn't like um, my dad, he just didn't know who he was. And the last day that my dad was visiting, Robbie got in the bed with him and let him play with him and tickle him. And so um, my dad was told that he would never live enough long enough to see a grandchild and so I'm just very thrilled to um, to be a part of that and that's part of the reason why I named Robbie Robbie because he's named after my dad um, I'm try not to cry <laughs> my dad's just really special to me he's been my rock and my supporter through a lot of things in my life and um, I couldn't think of a better subject and so i um, actually going to see my dad in September and I am going to give him that painting to put on as well so anyways that's my story about my dad and my son um, I guess I should talk a little bit more about my son. My son is uh, four years old, and um, he uh, what's the word? He gets overwhelmed, overstimulated. He has sensory issues, and um, I've been taking him to speech, and um, he's just an absolute joy in my life, and. Um, Yes, um, sometimes drives me crazy. Don't all kids. And, um, but when I uh, drop him off to go to work, he always says, bye mommy. And I just, my heart melts. I never get over hearing mommy. So, thanks God for Picking the best one for me, <laughs> little Robbie. So, Robbie's gonna be probably going to preschool this year, and I'm getting really sad and emotional because pretty soon he'll be going to school. School, <laughs> anyways. Thank you for being supportive and hanging along for the journey with. Uh, I'm painting. First time I drew it, I thought I had done really well, and my husband had told me it looked like Carl, Carol Barnett, and it did. It did look very good. And every day I get a little bit more done, and then I second guess it. I just this is the part that is frustrating about being an artist is just seeing what you've worked on picking apart and being emotional about it <laughs> and then t 
telling yourself, what can I do different? What can I do different? What am I missing? And um, being an artist is hard because you really have to look at things and look at things in a different light. And um, realism is something I love to do, but it stretches my abilities. And, um, but I'm going to take a step back, realize, thank you, God, for the gifts you've given me tonight. And then tomorrow, um, show me what needs to be fixed or tweaked. And, um, I know it'll come out great. And I just, I have to have faith. I have to have faith that, that my talent is enough and that I will figure it out. And so, anyways, see you later for day three.